Now, one of the things that complicates freelance arrangements is the inland revenue gets very interested in the exchange of money between you and other people. Mm. They have this mad idea they should have some, <laughs> even though they weren't there to do any of the work. So the, the revenue looks at people who have a business as having a business transaction with you. So if my company were to invoice you to mm. go to training services rendered, blah, 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 plus VAT, mm. That's handled through corporate accounting, and it's not something the revenue looks at under pay as you earn. But if I'm Joe Bloggs, and I'm just me and me, and I do all of my training for you, and I'm invoicing it as a freelancer, mm -hmm. first of all, you may find the revenue going, actually, no, they're a part-time regular trainer, mm -hmm. and you need to deduct tax at source. Now, you, you might say that's never going to happen, but that's actually happened to clients of ours. We're not tax specialists, but one of the things we tackle in our guidance notes and in how our freelance training agreement is set up is what are the key markers for that and how do you right. set up that arrangement so you don't accidentally fall into it. Right. Now, obviously, if you're disguising a real employment relationship as a freelance one, calling it freelance won't help you. No. I'm talking about structuring genuine freelance arrangements so they don't fall into the potholes that the revenue have got waiting for you. Mm. And it's really important you have a written agreement because mm. if they come for you, they're going to go, what was the deal? And you're not mm. going to find them very impressed if you go, well, we had a conversation once. No. No, it needs to be clear, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. So one of the advantages of this agreement, if you go through the guidance notes, is you can decide, actually, these really are freelancers mm. or, whoops, I need an employment contract, which wouldn't be the case with you, but would be with some people. No, I think it's I think it's vital actually that um, that's covered in these guidance notes, and um, because you never know at the moment, it's not. Yeah. So yeah. And one of the so things I urge you to do when you've got your draft of I've picked these options is talk to your accountant mm. about does this stack up with the current revenue? Yes. Just, I mean they do link to the website and all the rest of it, mm. but most people don't read in their revenue regulations for a lot, and it's probably <laughs> easier. Make a note of that. Yeah. Chat to your <laughs> accountant about it because they also will want some input on it. Yes. Yeah. Good that point. way you won't be getting tax bills in three years' time for money you thought was yours today. <laughs>